Hey, hey everyone, this is your girl Nicole Tyler. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going live. Like and share all my damn videos if you want to. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm here tonight. It's a pre-Mother's Day. Hope all the mothers out there in the world are enjoying their weekend. It's a cold and rainy weekend here in Richmond, Virginia. But today I started watching Pose on Netflix. I watched it when it first came out. And I'm watching it again tonight, so I will be overdosing on it until tomorrow night because you know on Sunday nights, your girl Nicole Tyler watches Game of Thrones. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I love to watch on Sunday nights. But tonight, I'm overdosing on Pose. Um, let's see who are some of the actors. In, in, uh, I know uh, Billy Porter is one of the main characters. Uh, MJ Rodriguez is one of the main uh actors in in pose and i love it it's dated back to what uh 1980s 1987 the club culture um i love how they do all of their their dancing they win a lot of trophies i love the outfits i love i actually just love that that whole culture um i love all the actors the actors i believe some of the actors are real transgenders uh it's, it's just an awesome show. I hope everybody watches it. Um, the first season of it is on Netflix, and I think they got renewed for a second season. It, it, really, atta it really tackles um, HIV. It tackles uh, married men, you know, dating uh, transgender women. It tackles um, the teen youth youth teen youth <laughs> the teen teens who were actually discarded from their families because they were gay how they were taken in by some of the uh transgender women uh who really believed in uh saving lives and being there for the troubled teens when they were discarded from their families they gave them a home they encouraged them to go to school um, also, it tackles uh, the transgender who do have breasts and a male part and how they really are, uh, what is the word I want to say, conflicted in their minds on if they should have the surgery. It talks about all of that. Um, I, I love the competition that they have imposed with the club culture, the dress the dresses, the, the dancing, the music at that time. Um, Pose is just really good, you all. I really encourage everyone to watch Pose. I feel very drawn to Pose because people who have watched me on my channel, they know that I'm just very diverse in all my damn personalities. And I think that's why a lot of people can't get with me. And they always say, oh, she's just so hypocritical. Oh, my gosh, she's a flip flopper. And the truth is, you all, I just have so many different personalities. That's all it is. And so I just encourage you all, the, the personality that resonates with you on that video, you watch that video. If I'm, if I'm doing something on another video that goes against what you believe in, don't watch that video. Just watch the videos that resonates with you. But what I really like and pose is all the different diverse characters all of the the topics that it is tackling back then and today they even talk about discrimination uh one of the characters m Rod mj rodriguez rodriguez how she goes to a bar and it's actually a gay bar but they don't want her in there because she's a transgender woman it i mean this show is just so deep it also has a character I think her name is Dominique. Oh, I don't know her last name. She's one of the main characters. She plays, um, I want to say Electra, Miss Electra. Oh, I'm probably butchering up the name. But I love how she is a, she was, of course, she's a transgender woman. But in the show, she plays where she has, she hasn't gone through the change. And she's been dating a white male for 10 years. And he likes her. He's been taking care of her. He gives her a monthly allowance. He pays for her apartment. Um, and he likes her the way she is. But she's been so conflicted in her mind. She wants to go through the change. And her male lover does not want her to have the change. He likes her for the way she is. And he's also married. So, you know, he's telling her, don't do this. If you do this, 
I'm going to cut you off. No more allowance. No more paying for your rent. No more, no more of anything. Our relationship is done. And if you watched Pose the first season, you'll know that uh, she did go ahead on and she had the change. And when she tried to reach her married male lover that she's been in love with for 10 years or dating for 10 years, he cut her off and he found him another transgender woman or a woman who has the top in male private part. So it is so good, you all. I really encourage you all to watch Pose. It, I hope I'm doing it just as by talking about it. As you can hear it in my voice, I'm really excited that it's on. I just love the competition. I love the fashions. I love the whole club world. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if you all saw the Met Gala, you know, some of the fashions that were there, uh, they had the Met Gala, when was it, last weekend? And Billy Porter was one of the main people that was photographed. And if you liked his outfit, he is one of the main characters here on Pose. And I really love him. I really love his outfit. Uh, in Pose season one, he did uh, contract um, HIV. And they talk, they go into that. And he also, his gay lover was uh, dying of um, AIDS at the time. And I think his gay lover even died in the first season. But it is just so good, you all. I just encourage you all to watch Pose. And I just wanted to come to y'all with the video to let y'all know what your girl Nicole Tyler is doing on pre-Mother's Day night. So what are y'all doing out there for Mother's Day? I actually talked to my daughter. And you all know I get with my daughter every Sunday. Um, she is a queen of lashes here in Richmond. And she uh, has clients. So she is taking two, two clients tomorrow. So, but in between that, we're going to go out to eat and I'm going to crustaceans. Now, you, if you all follow me and you follow my news feed here on YouTube, you'll know that I post a picture of me and my daughter. We were out last weekend, last Sunday at crustaceans and I want to go back again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I, I just love crustaceans because it reminds me of my favorite other place in DC, hot and juicy, where they bring you the food in the bag. They bring you your corn your sausage, your uh, potatoes, and it's seasoned with whatever you want. Now, I always get shrimp, and that's what I always get in my bag. Now, my daughter, she loves mussels, shrimps, uh, lobster, crab legs. She gets all of that in her bag, and I, I just get mainly, you know, shrimp, crab legs, some sometimes mussels, but... It's going to be great. I love crustaceans and I, lo I love hot and juicy the best. So I'm just letting y'all know that's what I'm going to be doing. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. I was supposed to go visit a friend uh, this weekend and last weekend, but it rained. So hopefully I'm still going to get with that friend and uh, it will be. It will be recorded for YouTube. And um, I just want y'all to know that I really just hope everybody have a great Mother's Day. All right, y'all. My name is Nicole Tyler. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live. And like and share all my videos. Mwah, mwah.